Hello guys, I am Ashish and in today's video, I will show you how to configure DHCP server and static IP address between two routers. So let's get started. First of all, go on network devices, then routers, you will find generic router, put two router on your workspace. Then go on switches put two switches on your workspace now we need to add pcs go on end devices place four pcs on your workspace now pick up a server and place it on your workspace so this server will work as a dhcp server now go on connection, choose automatically choose connection type and connect all the connections of between router to router then once again take the connection and place between switches to router then PC to switch then server to switch Now we are going to label all the connections for first router IP address for the serial cable would be 10.10.10.10 and for second router the serial IP address will be 10.10.10.11 first of all the network IP address will be 192.168.0.0 and for second router it would be 192.168.0.0 1.0 Now we are going to rename the servers. This will be DHCP server 2 and this one will be DHCP server 1. Now we are going to configure the IP address for router 1. Now go on router 1, you will find configuration tab, click on it, you will find fast ethernet 0 slash 0. This IP address would be for connecting your router to your switch and other systems. The IP address would be 192.168.0.1. You cannot give 0.0, .0 because it is a network IP. Now go on serial 2 slash 0, in IP address put 10.10.10.10. Hit enter, the subnet mask will automatically generate. Click on OK. This IP address will be used for your static IP address between router to router connection. Click close this window. Now go on server. In servers, click on desktop. In desktop, you will find IP configuration. Click on it and put your IP address as 192.168.0.2. Hit enter, the subnet mask will automatically generate. Now default gateway would be 192.168.0.1 Now go on services you will find DHCP In DHCP click the first save file Now click on ok and set the default gateway as 192.168.0.1 Set as 3 because you already have allotted the IP address 192.168.0.2 and 0.1 to the I, uh, server and the router now close this window and now go on router 2 now we have to set the fast ethernet IP address and the serial IP address as we have set for router 1 go on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 set the IP address for the other connections like for switch and the server connection as this IP address will be used for the default gateway for the router to serial port connection, the IP address will be 10.10.10.11. Close this window. Now go on server. Set the server IP address and the service connection as same as we have done for the server 1.
DHCP video request or IP address from DHCP server and if the request is successfully accepted from the DHCP server, the IP address will be allotted to the PC. Now to configure the static IP routing, go on router 1 in static session. In networks, you have to add the network address of the another router. It would be 192.168.1.0. In sub in mask, you have to add 225.225.225.0. In next hook, you have to add the router IP address. It is 10.10.10.11 Now click on add and close this handle Now go on router 2 Do the same step for the router 2 static IP routing Add the network address as 192.168.0.0 And now choose 25.225.225.0 Now in network the same as it will be 10.10.10.10 Now click on add and close this window Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe. If you have any question, feel free to comment in the comment section.